remember the 2015 hit, The Big Short, right? The film based on the 2008 global financial meltdown where a few Wall Street bankers made a fortune betting on the total collapse of the U.S. housing market and a global economic crisis? Do you have any idea what you just did? Just bet against the American economy. If we're right, people lose homes, people lose jobs, people lose retirement savings, people lose pensions. Well, it's happening again, with literally one of the same people. Former head of mortgage and credit investments at Goldman Sachs, Don Mullen Jr. The man who famously made millions off predicting and exacerbating the national housing crisis in 2007. This time, cashing in on the eviction crisis created by the COVID-19 pandemic. Mullen and the owners of other large private equity firms are betting that there are billions of dollars to be made buying up single-family homes, often in foreclosure as Americans struggled to get by during the pandemic, and then renting these homes back to the growing population that is now permanently locked out of home ownership. They are raising billions from pension funds and insurance companies across the globe to put down cash for homes and outbid anyone who still has the resources to cobble together a down payment. Part of Mullen's empire is a company called Havenbrook Homes, which manages rentals all over the country. For example, they manage over 100 single-family units in North Minneapolis, where many lower-income Black and Latinx families live. Renters there have documented water leaks, pest infestations, and black mold, with little response from landlords, because the landlords barely even exist. Maintaining these properties is just another cost to be cut in an effort to maximize profits at the expense of people's lives. The whole porch is like falling apart. Foundation is cracking. This wasn't like this when I moved in. You can see big holes through the roof. It leaks from here to here. And that's actually mold. The white is mold. I've lost precious, precious, precious gifts that I can never get back that were just heirlooms of my family thinking that it would be safe. My name is Shanika Henderson. I've lived in my Havenbrook home for about seven years, close to eight years. So since 2014, I moved in. I actually went to court one time because they didn't receive a payment in time. So you pay your rent through a portal, which is over the phone. And if you kind of get locked out of that portal, I think it gives you about 48 hours to 72 hours to be able to get back in. So they didn't receive this payment of $75 from me. I actually received the eviction notice. I had to go to court and pay all of these fees to their lawyer and also to Havenbrook for late fees. It was a lot of money. And it kind of dawned on me that when I got to court and all of these Havenbrook tenants were there for the same thing of them saying, due to non-payment of rent. And it just kind of dawned on me, wow, this company is crook. Uh, I've been a Havenbrook resident for one year and one month now. I moved in last April, right in the middle of the pandemic. Within one month of that is when all of the issues arose. They keep charging me for the utilities that are in my name. And each utility is a $30 fee on top of the utility that you already owe. The utility send a bill to them and a bill to me. They started to pay the bill immediately, then charge me the $30 fee and say, well, you owe us now since you don't pay, you know, since you didn't pay the utility company, it has nothing to do with them. If I don't give you guys the money, you're gonna evict me. Even, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong in their eyes. It's just an easy way for them to make sure that you're gone. You don't argue with us, pay us what we want. It's a common theme. It's, they use scare tactics. Havenbrook Homes was bought in 2018 by a private equity firm based in the Virgin Islands. And then in 2021, during a global pandemic with the financial system once again in peril, was bought for a whopping $2.5 billion by Pretium Partners, led by none other than Don Mullen Jr., with the help of a private equity firm, Aries Management, and billionaire Anthony Ressler. Oh, we found Aries. Of course, when you do your homework and you find out it's the god of war and not a terribly attractive god. Now, guess where Aries gets its money? Dozens of pension funds across multiple states, the retirement money of millions of hardworking teachers and public sector workers. Despite a nationwide eviction moratorium during the pandemic, people in these homes are being evicted as the billionaires that own thousands of these properties are making record profits across the country. But tenants are fighting back. 
In Minnesota, housing justice organization Renters United for Justice is working with Havenbrook Homes tenants to make sure that Pretium and Don Mullen Jr. change the way they do business. It's 20 people, 20 people who this exact same thing is happening to them. And a lot of those people are Section 8, so they have a super fixed income. And they're just taking advantage of a desperate minority underserved population of the community because they can and because they've been getting away with it since the crash in 2008. That's when they went and bought all the homes up here and just turned it into a corporate uh, rental system. It's just a money-making machine for them. And that is it. As you know, if I can change the way renters treat tenants or change the fact that we can buy our home if we want to and change some of the laws and work against Havenbrook, and get something out there knowing that they're taking taking advantage of people and families, I'm all with it. And so here I am. With the COVID-19 pandemic and a poor social safety net rocking the U.S. economy, nearly one-fifth or 18% of renters in the United States, that's 10 million families, reported being behind on the rent payments as of the beginning of January 2021. One in four households with children are not caught up on rent and black families are twice as likely to be at risk of eviction. Havenbrook Homes and its parent company, Pretium Partners, are by no means the only companies making a fortune off people's basic human need for shelter. This is in fact a much larger trend since the 2007 crisis of private equity firms snatching up homes that fall into foreclosure, turning them around, and making as quick a profit as they can, often leaving repairs, maintenance, and the health of the renters to the wayside. It's time to get private equity out of housing altogether and stop these corporations from speculating on housing. To stop this crisis, advocates and tenants are fighting to stop these billion dollar companies from getting a cent more in federal dollars from Fannie and Freddie, LIHTC or PPP loans for quote, maintaining affordable housing when they're really neglecting and threatening tenants. Pass legislation like the Stop the Wall Street Looting Act stop the evictions and enforce the eviction moratorium during and after the pandemic. We would like a rent freeze at least for the very beginning and these fees that are nonsense taken away. We all have the right to live in sustainable housing, but no one needs to be thrown out of their home, especially when they're renters. You get all your money from us, so put something back into us. Have faith in the people that you rent from.